Hello and welcome to Console Cowboys. So in this video, I'm gonna talk very quickly on some notes on installing Brownie to get you on your path. It can sometimes be a little tricky. So the first thing here, we have our installing Brownie notes from the documentation. It's going to tell you to pip install pipx and then run that to install eth Brownie. Now that may work for you and hopefully it will work for you. But for me, it gave me a few issues because I needed a couple other things. So what I'm gonna do is talk about my configuration and what I did to get it installed. You can follow along with that and hopefully it will work for you. If not, you'll need to do a little bit of debugging to figure it out. So what I did was the following. I have an Ubuntu 2204 VM running Python version 3.10. Now, 3.11, I tried to install it with on a Kali VM, but I ran into a lot of issues with packages. So I'm sticking with 3.10 where everything installed relatively easily. Now what I did, once I had the 2204 Ubuntu VM installed, I did an app get update. I installed Node.js. I installed NPM. I used NPM to install Ganache CLI globally. And then I use the regular app get commands to install pipx as well as Python 3 virtual environments. After all of that, I ran the pipx install eth brownie, which allowed me to run the output right here. By typing in brownie, I got the following, which told me that it installed successfully. So hopefully all of that stuff will work for you. We're going to be using Brownie in the first part of this course, and then we might take a look at things like Foundry and what they have to offer over top of Brownie. Because the whole point of section two here is now that we know how to do everything manually, we wanna use these frameworks to automate a lot of things that we're doing so that we can improve our workflow. We already understand how things work. We understand how to attack them. We understand all the nuts and bolts, but now we wanna harness the power of the frameworks in order to just make our lives easier and make things just run more efficiently. So hopefully you'll get this up and installed quite easily. And when you do, you can follow along with the next video.